What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm back with the get back. Let's get that. Let's get it. All right. So, I hope everybody day is good. I hope it's gravy, baby. And I'm gonna start with my cards. I was gonna start with the tea. I'm gonna start my tea with the tea and do my cards last. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Watch around me. I'm trying to tell y'all. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see. I hope everybody good. Ooh, let's see. I hope everybody's good. I'm trying to shuffle these things real good. They won't believe it. <laughs> they call you back? Oh, shit. So I feel like a lot of y'all shine on y'all fucking shit doing good. And motherfuckers trying to circle back. Hey. <laughs> they said that pussy got attachments. That pussy nanny got attachments. Got them still hooked. Like Captain Hook. All right. I'm trying to tell y'all. But anywho, some of y'all, um, you know what I'm saying, do your thing. Somebody probably left y'all like high and dry without y'all. You know what I'm saying? Left y'all by yourself. Didn't even try to, you know what I'm saying, help you out for nothing. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, checking you out, saying that you done elevated in a major way. You done came a long way. And motherfuckers trying to circle back. You know what I'm saying? Some people going through some things and they reminiscing. Like, damn, that person was pretty good to me. Like, I wonder what they doing. They trying to circle the fuck back. Oh, shit. In the middle of the deck, you got, I want you back. Somebody is carless at this moment. Okay, have no cars. Some type of car issues. All right. Oh, car got repo. Maybe ain't able to pay for the payments no more. So, car done got repo. Someone is also crying over you. Hun is hell. They sad, hurt like hell. Somebody's stuck in their memories, okay? They having flashbacks. So somebody they deep feelings like shit just keep going on for I mean keep happening to them. And they don't understand what the fuck going on. And then already depressed over you. You feel what I'm saying? Since, like, since your ass been gone, a lot of shit been going on. You feel me? Let me see. Someone had no facts at all. Never had the fucking facts. Was making shit up. Maybe somebody was lying on your ass and then some shit caught up to their ass, okay? Maybe they getting karma for speaking on your motherfucking name, okay? <laughs> Maybe they got the wrong person and got you fucked up. Maybe somebody was trying to lie on you or something. Somebody was trying to make you look bad. So they getting some goddamn... Karma or something, but somebody have no facts about you. Nobody don't know what the fuck going on with you. Somebody don't, trying to figure out what the hell you got going on. So they decided to make them a fake account or use their homie account or go on their homie on get on their homie phone and look on their page for your ass. You feel me? Some of y'all feel like y'all page is private. They been on all your whatever social accounts you got from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter. Now who gonna spy somebody on Twitter? Ain't y'all do nothing on Twitter but type. But anywho. I don't know. And then maybe on your goddamn TikToks, y'all, whatever fucking social. Maybe on your YouTube, whatever social. Somebody behind a fake account, okay? Getting even hurt. Hurt. Like, maybe you blocked them for a reason. And now they found a way to get access to you. They hurt. Because you're doing all right. You know what I'm saying? You're doing too damn good. Matter of fact, they're going through it. They wish they can reach out for you for help, because they know that's the type of heart you got, but no. Somebody also abusing divination. Damn, they want to know everything about your ass. Damn. Like you don't already show it already in, in, in the plain eye view. You know what I'm saying? It's like they ain't even got to do all that. Somebody abusing divination, though. Okay, somebody want to offer you something, but some shit just played the fuck out. Okay, you know this person just want to be around you to impersonate you. Want to be you, act like you, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Look like you pretty much copy you, because this person clout hungry as hell. They see that you get a lot of fucking attention, okay? 
They say you just so mad and that people just automatically fucks with you or talk to you or give advice to you or respect you, okay? Somebody cry hungry as hell to say anything, does anything to get some fucking they way or get their attention. They so dramatic. I feel like somebody always come with a sob story to get attention or get somebody to like give a fuck about what they got going on so they can feel special. You feel me? Somebody get a high off of sympathy. Some people showing them sympathy. Somebody trying to get some evidence. It's giving me somebody trying to find out something about somebody so fucking bad and then realize it ain't shit to find out about this person because it ain't shit going on, okay? And somebody trying to get proof to see if somebody having a goddamn um, love triangle going on, like who, like messing with multiple people, maybe somebody you motherfucking know or somebody close around you, somebody's trying to get proof about somebody um, doing some type of love triangle, some type of... Manipulation with the love choices and shit. Somebody got different lovers. And maybe that is what's going on. Maybe somebody got missing. Or maybe somebody been acting different. And somebody trying to figure out some shit and put some shit together. Okay? Maybe you got somebody outside the game that you don't even fucking know trying to look up your shit. Maybe somebody that you talking to is talking to somebody else. And the person, I don't know, something's getting... Somebody trying to figure out, have some proof that somebody fucking around. Somebody trying to find proof hard as hell. Okay? You got a karmic-ass friend who you fully can't trust them. Okay? They got a secret competition against you. Okay? I feel like some of y'all got some people y'all think is y'all friends. They ain't really your friends. You know what I'm saying? They play that role very well to the point people around you think they really genuine about you. But right, really they ain't. They just close to you because they do shit behind the scenes. And the shit ripping the same back, busting their ass right wide open and told them to bring it back. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm stupid as hell. I was telling her to bust it wide open and bring it right back. You know what I'm saying? That bitch is really a uh, sir is really your motherfucking enemy. Pay attention to not not just what they say. Pay attention to their goddamn actions. That tells more of the truth than anything. Pay attention to their patterns. All right? Somebody mad because they into somebody into you. Okay? You got good kiss. Good chemistry, great vibes, positivity. Somebody trying to dig up dirt. Damn, it seems like somebody don't believe that you as good as you are. Like, somebody think you hiding something. And I'm pretty sure that you wide open about everything you do. I feel like you up front with what you do. But I feel like what your light irritates they demons so bad that they feel like you just as negative as them. Or when they be around you, they so comfortable that they tell the dark side and everything to you because that's how comfortable they is with you. So they feel like, damn, what, we telling this person all about us, but it's just naturally come. They just naturally giving you this info. But what about them? What they doing? They kind of sneaky. They don't never say much. They don't never say much. They don't never really tell what they got going on. Their life ain't all the way perfect. And half the shit y'all done already healed from pretty much forgot about the shit because you just living in the moment. You in your bliss right now, so you don't give a fuck what happened in the past because it made you where you at today. So what's the problem? You feel me? Somebody got bad habits, drug addiction, or some type of toxicity they got going on, okay? Somebody's just a waste of time, stuck, no change, limited, okay? This person won't move. They will not grow. They just repeating the same cycles because they doing the same shit. Okay, they gonna be stuck, left behind while you queen rising, baby. Step and leave motherfuckers behind. Stepping into your power, praises. Okay, when the praises go up, guess what? The blessings come down, coming up to the spotlight. Let's go. Okay, queen rising, boss daddy, stable. So male, female, divine, feminine energy or masculine energy. Y'all did the goddamn thing. You did the damn thing. You doing the work. It's you stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big D energy. You putting in the work in this, sir. Man, you remember you started off on the one goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, give me a story like I remember when I started off on the corner with a box with a sign and selling my shit. And now I got business and companies. Yeah, moving on up. I'm bothered as hell. And you got a whole lot of spiritual haters. They think you doing shit to get to that position. But no, baby, you it's called elevated. It's called connecting with the fucking divine. It's called letting go and letting God. It's, let, it's called letting go negative shit. Sacrificing negative energies of yourself 
working on self finding in the self finding who the fuck you is so shit can elevate like it's supposed to so you can go through the transformation. These motherfuckers mad as hell about your magic and your power and your spiritual light. They hate on you hard, too hard. <laughs> you unbothered though, cause you 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 like I'm way up. I feel blessed, okay? Y'all do not give a fuck, <laughs> cause you living your best life. I'm telling you, you ain't about to go back and forth with these motherfuckers, okay? They mad as hell. They can't steal. They want to steal your ideas so bad. They ain't got that ambition like you. They ain't got that motivation. They ain't got that inner strength. They ain't got that inner power. That inner ideas like that wisdom, that knowledge. Okay, they ain't got that shit. So they try to duplicate you from, I don't know if it's the way you look or get one. Because I feel like you got many personalities. They don't even know what to get. They just get the ones that you give them. Okay? They want to feed off you so fucking bad, yo. That's crazy. You are very, you are very inspirational to these haters. Okay? You motivating them in a way you don't even know. Okay? Some people you done left the fuck behind because you went through a growth. It's like, okay, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? That you've been laying low, ghost like a motherfucker. People having problems and shit. And it's like you just going on grave. Like everything around you, certain people around you, they going through some shit. And you just trying to figure out like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So they probably projecting their energy off on you because you seem like you straight. And they trying to figure out why the fuck you so happy for. Because, you know, you can't be happy like that if they're going through some shit now. Now, that's going to piss them the fuck off, whoever these people are. Okay? They yeah, want to copy you and be like you. I bet some of them copy you just to make it seem like the front, front of you. Make it seem like they just as good as you. Like, they all right. They straight. They living life. You know, everything gravy. Like it is with you, but really it ain't because you see right through that shit, like, bro. And all they got to do is just get a clear understanding of what the hell going on. Let me see. I'm getting the yin and the yang in the situation shit. Okay, you got freedom, leap, uterus, and ur- uterus, uranus, and opportunities. Freedom, leap, and opportunities. And somebody eyes for you, fantasizing, been watching you. You so carefree. Not in a bad way either. It's just like you be doing your own goddamn thing. And you don't bother nobody. But somebody been really focusing on you. Had eyes for you. Been fantasizing. I mean fascinated by you. Just been watching you. You got somebody in the awe. Like this person is very unique to me. <laughs> okay. You got somebody with a family home and commitment. <clears throat> Maybe you got a, your family home and your commitment is being protected by Archangel Michael. It's like you got a whole lot of bodyguards around you. You just like free. Woo. And it's like these negative energies outside of you trying to attack. But you got Michael blocking you like shield thin. So it's like you in your own little bubble, your own little world. You can't be touched type shit. Because you don't, you know what I'm saying? It is no way because your energy ain't on that level as there. So it's like a little, I don't know. You very highly protected. Because Michael ain't here to play, baby. We got protected, preventing you from harm. You know, divine intervening with anything getting in your way. Because they see what you're trying to do, baby. Okay? Maybe you just extremely cut. I mean, somebody was in denial and illusions. I don't know why I would say you about to cut somebody off. They don't want you in denial. They don't want you in no type of delusions. You know what I'm saying? Somebody not facing the truth. That you and your North Note now, too. Cosmic purpose. Your current status is single. But somebody want a settlement, an agreement, a compromise with you. I hope nobody... Mm, somebody know you single. I don't know. I just get like somebody been watching you and somebody know you fucking single. Somebody want a settlement, a compromise, some type of agreement with you. Somebody want to work with you. Somebody want to get up together with you. Okay? They want you to sell your home and move out of town type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe some of y'all going to y'all North Note and y'all is moving the fuck out of town. Like, moving somewhere else. Y'all about to sell y'all house and move somewhere else for new opportunities. But I'm getting, I don't know. You guys, you single, but somebody want an agreement. Somebody want to work with you, for real. Somebody want to compromise. Some of y'all going to be moving out of state some goddamn where 
And I feel like y'all ain't never moved before in your motherfucking life. Never left your city. Never left your country. You know, state. But you're going to be somewhere you never thought you'd be before. Okay? Somebody um, detached and cold. Maybe you had to detach yourself. Somebody for detach the cold, toxicity, bound, and pattern. Oh, yeah, you detach from somebody. People feel like you act like you don't know them no more. But it's not that. It's like you just, you, you, had, a, you had an awakening. Like, you ain't on the same shit you was on before. You know what I'm saying? You're a new person. You're a new being now. That's like, that was the old you. You have awoken. You have arise. Okay? Your trumpet and y'all, your trumpet didn't be blown already, like, okay? And plus, I feel like you want more. You want more out of life. This simple shit don't desire you no more. You feel what I'm saying? People haven't heard from you. You haven't had no actions, no move. And I got somebody who want more from you, but they ain't saying shit. They ain't making no moves. It's cricket. Okay, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. You haven't heard something from somebody either. But we got legal court papers filed. We got disharmony, conflict, triggers. We got shadow side, dark night of the soul, and control tactics. So somebody going through some legal issues. Somebody done got some papers filed. Okay, somebody done got served. All right. It's been some disharmony and infidelities in a relationship. Somebody still on their shadow side or working through the dark night of their soul. Okay, they in their moon energy. Somebody doing something with the moon, some type of control tactic. You getting some type of message in your dreams. You got messages and dreams. Okay, wave emotions coming and going. Somebody emotions coming and going, I'm telling you. All right, somebody trapped in their head about somebody who, like, I don't know. This person having anxiety, y'all. Like, I don't know. Or maybe you feeling some type of. I don't know, you've been feeling some type of different, or maybe you've been getting chills lately out of nowhere, or maybe your nose just been itching out of nowhere, I don't know, some type of emotion, some type of shit you feeling, okay, and I feel like you're getting some type of messages in your dreams, I feel like some people is popping up in your dreams, you can't believe they popping up in your dreams, because you, now you're looking at them sideways like, what are you, you feel what I'm saying, like, who are you, like, for example, I feel like y'all got somebody who is envious around you, right? You feel like like when you're around you, you already know the energy is kind of off, but you don't pay it no mind. Okay? You don't think nothing of it. The person ain't even that important to be in your thoughts like that, but you just notice how they be looking at you crazy as hell. Boom. You go home, you chill. You think nothing of it. You think like, why? You know, you think like, what's up with this person? Like, not like that, but when you when you feel that energy from you, like, what the fuck is that? Boom. You go home, go to sleep. You have a dream. That person pop in your dream and you see their real intentions. Okay? And you're trying to figure out, like, what type of this person is. Okay? They look at you crazy in the 3D, but then they try to meet you up in the dream state. Like, who the hell are you? Who you work for type shit? Or or maybe they give you some type of message or signs in your dreams about what the fuck it is going on. Giving you some type of validation. Okay? Somebody in the, um... Emotions over and coming and going. Present abundance gratitude. Okay, so some of y'all just thankful as hell for what you got going on. Okay, you divide, uh, surviving daily hustles. Like, you was just appreciating that you getting by. You see people around you going through it, and you just appreciate that you getting by. You get your wish for fulfillment some type of way. You feel highly blessed. Or you are highly blessed. You got people still think of you. You impact people in a major motherfucking way. People you think that you ain't seen in a while. A lot of people you done cut off. That you done elevated. Yeah, baby, you still... Pops up in their mind or certain stuff remind them of you. Or they still probably do things you didn't show them or taught them or things you used to do that you turned them on to. You feel what I'm saying? 
Somebody been trying to race in a somebody been trying to avoid something, okay? Somebody be trying to avoid accountability, okay? Okay, but you know your self-worth. Somebody trying to avoid somebody, but you know their self-worth. You know the real deep root of why they do what they do. So you don't really give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you very known for human behavior. Okay? How people behavior and shit. Okay, we got past lack and sufferance. Okay, maybe you know this person has a past lack of suffering. Somebody in separation longing. Longing for you. Mm. Maybe they've been journaling. Some of y'all been journaling. Journaling. <laughs> journaling. Some of y'all been journaling, writing diaries, keeping notes in some type of way. Okay. Or maybe they've been writing, but something's just a stalemate. Like, something ain't, I don't know. Somebody longer from some separation, but you feel like this person is a, a, I don't know. They gave you lack in the past. Okay. Half assing. Okay. Pretending fake is hell. Living beyond their means. Trying to do the most. Be something they not pretending. Okay, while y'all was in this union, some of y'all will be coming in the union in the autumn. That's going to be your autumn harvest. Some of y'all going to a union. Divine feminine. Unity. Coming into one. Either with yourself or with have a union. And truth and expression. Some of y'all very truthful. You express yourself very clearly. You don't hold shit in. And you activate it to your higher self. You got higher self activation. So, of course, you're going to something different. Once you activate to your higher self, it's a wrap, bitch. It's like <laughs> you see through all the bullshit. Like, what the fuck? Like, hell. You really know what it is. And you about to get an offer from Venus. Okay. You got water sign, Pisces, Council, Scorpio. Somebody's in a mental prison, confined, like hell, trapped in their fucking head. Because you cut them at, cut their ass off very harshly. You didn't say a damn thing. You did it very smooth. You just kind of Vinny Vinci on the motherfucker. Okay? Masculine. Okay? Planting the seed in the spring. This probably was some type of love affair. Dirty little secret down low. Okay? Divine feminine didn't descend it from that shit. Went on their spiritual path instead. Third eye started activating. They cleansed off all this negative energy and all this lustful ass energy. Somebody was trying to send your way, trying to send some type of love spell in love energy to have you being lusting. Or maybe you did, and that shit just like, I don't know. Download their little secret. Brought you through your awakening. Okay, a divine mask and faith detour. So somebody. Divine masculine was trying to detour you. I mean, try to de like try to like slow you down, try to stop you on your shit. But like divine intervention intervened with that. They're like, oh hell no, nah. hell no, nah. hell no. Nah, you ain't about to treat my divine, my goddess is just like a piece of ass, nigga. You got me fucked up. Oh, so your tension's not pure, my nigga. Okay, but you want all that good? Oh hell no, nah. like I don't know. Or somebody don't want to keep something a secret, no, but it's like love affair. Maybe someone got a secret love affair, intimacy, like into, like enter in them. Like maybe secretly somebody got like a secret love affair with you. Maybe they fantasize you. Maybe I ain't physically having this shit. I don't know what the fuck going on. Or somebody wants you tangled up in a love affair, try to heal, hold you back. But really, baby, you ascended already. You going on your path. You say, fuck that, divine feminine. Cause your third eye is clear. You see your shit shit very clearly. You already see what the shit where the T.I. is. Hell, matter of fact, you done cleansed out some shit. Meditated, cleansed out this damn energy. Removed yourself from the negativity. Okay? And divine intervention interfere with this divine masculine. Interfere for this divine masculine because this is going to be a long-term commitment. So somebody trying to come through and block you from your real feel, holy feel shit. Somebody mad how you closed off. They thought they had your ass. No, you closed off like hell. Guarded from this person. We got some shit that's balancing itself out. Chemistry and passion. Somebody still got some chemistry and passion for you that 
Damn, baby, they watching you behind a fake ass social media. Hiding. Baby, damn, you unforgettable. You irresistible. They can't never forget you. And you went through a Pluto transformation. They, I feel like I'm getting like somebody know they would never get you back. So all they can do is watch you behind a fake ass page, man. They already know that. They love and adore and admire the fuck out of you, too. Bruh. They miss your nurturing and compassion. They know they were deceptive as hell. And they ego and vanity and pride had them goddamn weighed down, chained down. That's why they stuck and you able to free, fly. Okay? Maybe you thought this person was your soulmate, but this person was toxic as hell, unhealthy ass behavior, unhealthy ass behavior. They probably had a temper problem too. A badass temper problem. Okay, just burst out in rages and shit. Somebody trying to beg and bargain, you know what I'm saying? But they can't take back what the fuck they done did. Cause I feel like this person got a bad attitude, like temper or something. They a type get mad and fuck up shit, maybe swing. You don't know you you they unpredictable, but you know when they go to zero to a hundred real motherfucking quick, somebody depressed. They got some type of like depression going on. They don't know how to handle their emotions type shit, but somebody regretting that shit and depressed like hell, they feel lost, ghost. You block, you cut this person off. Hell yeah, shit. I'm fucking crazy. They ain't crazy, but they gotta heal some shit. They got some internal shit that they gotta heal because they throwing temper times like that and feel like they can just destroy some shit, hit on some shit. Go crazy or like even just punch the wall and hit the head on the wall type shit. No, baby. No, that's not love. Okay, yeah, they got inner child healing to do. That's what it's showing me. The car slid hit the motherfucking flow. Yeah, maybe divine block y'all from somebody who really got a temper issue and really trying to hide it. But you can feel it or see it in their face that something ain't right. They got some type of evil ass energy inside them that they can't control that's possessing all over them or some type of shit that's stealing from their inner child that they haven't healed yet okay it's giving me like a big ass baby you know but y'all hope this help I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer okay I just wanted to come in real quick with the real quick quickness all right all right, y'all. Y'all watch your thoughts. Treat us like you want to be treated and don't be so judgmental. If this resonates, cool. If it didn't, that's cool. It is timeless. You know, and check the rest of them. I got like over a thousand, okay? Timeless. Might resonate. I hope whatever video I do resonate to whoever it needs to resonate with. Any of my videos, all right? I hope it finds the person you need to find to resonate with so they can help them out, all right? Thank y'all so much. I love you so much. Thank you for chilling with your girl. And just in case, because I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I already said it, but I'm going to say it again. Just in case, watch your thoughts. Treat others like you want to be treated. And don't be so judgmental. All right, babies, have a blessed one. Bye.